So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I made this baby closet crate. It was a ton of fun. So one of the things you'll need is the crate. Um, I got this from Hobby Lobby, my favorite place in the whole wide world. Uh, so in this clip, you see me taking the hardware off. Um which super easy, get you a screwdriver and take all of those screws out. Uh, you'll then need to find the paint of your choice. Um, this is for a baby girl. So I found this really pretty pink and you'll just wanna spray the entire thing. Of course, you'll wanna do this outside in a ventilated area. Super fun. Um, so then you'll need to get you some dowels. I also got these from Hobby Lobby. Um, as you can see, I didn't really have a system of like measuring this. I just eyeballed the whole thing. So I was like, how tall do I want this to be? And based on that, you'll uh, make your marks. So that way you can cut it to size. And here I'm using my handy dandy Craftsman circular saw. Um, I know using this table is not the safest <laughs> and I now have a table. Um, what do you call them? It is not a table saw. A sawhorse. There. Yes, I have a sawhorse, but in this clip, I did not have it. <laughs> I absolutely love using this saw. So here I am just Finishing up my coats of paint. And you'll want to make sure you get a really good coat. And sometimes spray painting uh, wood can be fairly difficult. So depending on um, the density of your color, you may want to get two cans just to be on the safe side. One of the things that I'll also do different next time is get a bigger tarp because when I pulled this up I definitely spray painted the concrete <laughs> and I decided to make the um, the handles gold and I don't know if you hear it in this clip but I went oh this is pretty it was like a metallic gold it really stood out. Look at that gold, that is gorgeous. All right, so one of the things that my husband did was taught me how to use a drill so I don't have to nag him every two seconds. So here I'm just getting it positioned where I want and I did have to do um, pilot holes, pilot drills. Y'all have to excuse me because I don't know the correct terminology. I just know what I'm doing. <laughs> so I did pre-drilled holes so that way I wouldn't split my wood. And I'm just making sure that it's in there, secured. I missed a spot, so I needed to spray again. The, the fun thing about this project is I didn't have any measurements. I just kind of winged everything. And it came out so pretty. So here I'm just getting the debris out. 
And this is when I was really starting to get excited. Like, it's coming together. And again, I did my palette holes. I, again, I don't know if I'm using the right terminology, but we're going to go with it. <laughs> I did my palette drills. But what I did notice is when you were drilling the top of this, you really have to be careful uh, because you could split that wood really easily. And this is where I'm just testing it to make sure it's sturdy. It's not going anywhere. I felt so proud. So here I am putting the hardware back on. And again, I mentioned at the beginning that I got this from Hobby Lobby. Um, I don't remember if I told you that it was during the 40% off sale. So every other week, Hobby Lobby does a discount. So you'll want to go on the week that this is 40% off because I think it was like $14.99. Look at that pink. It was beautiful. And here's the final result. And if you have a Cricut, take advantage of that because I was also able to personalize the onesies. Party my crib, 2 a.m., bring a bottle. Well, listen, this was a ton of fun. Thank you for viewing. Please like and subscribe.